Colleges and universities often struggle with improving the student journey. They want to meet students where they are, but the student journey is frequently ambiguously defined, insufficiently measured, and handled in fragmented silos. A recent Educause Learning Lab on understanding and improving your student experience flipped the script and works to give attendees real, actionable ways to improve interactions with students at their institutions. I spoke with the Learning Lab facilitator, Elliot Felix, to learn more about his approach. I think if you're trying to understand and improve the student experience, first you have to define it. So in the course and in general, I always start by talking about it's the way that students interact and how they feel with those interactions. And that might be with, uh, with technology, with a professor, with a staff member, with the community, with the space, with the service, uh, with a course. Um, and, uh, and so how they're, how they're feeling about that is the thing you want to understand and, and improve. You're thinking about the different dimensions, the breadth, the depth, the interaction, the significance, the meaning. Um, and I, I think we can maybe simplify it a little bit for our purposes and think about an experience as an interaction that a person has over time. So. How are these lessons going to impact how higher ed tech leaders approach interacting with students? I spoke with a couple attendees to get their view on the learning lab. So we wanted to move beyond anecdotal kind of sense of what the student experience is to really digging in and getting a holistic understanding. So when we saw the opportunity to participate in this learning lab, it just seemed like a great way to really dig in and professionalize the way we think about and understand the student experience. Being a part of the UGA community, the entire community and not just the online learning community. So I was interested in finding a way to connect them to things like athletics, to some of the uh, online or virtual programs that we offer, uh, mental health resources. I think that's often what we find on our campus, right? That this, we have what, six, like columns and ideally those six are happening over a four-year time period but for transfers we're talking about these six things happening in two years and that's part of the big challenge and i guess that's part of i want to keep them there because i think it makes us have to consider how compressed and how quickly some of this happens or not for transfer students, which makes it really, really challenging. It's like you're adjusting, applying, approaching and advancing all at the same time in many ways. So um, it it's challenging to have to put it in this kind of format, but it's also the challenge that students are facing in many ways. You know, as a student integrates into the university, what is their experience over time in reference to social belonging and the resources we provide here on campus and academically. And so thinking really clearly about those needs and concerns um, in, in a very specific sort of way has been really powerful and, and gives us a mechanism for identifying real needs that we can address. I think the, the first thing you need to do is meet your staff where they are um, and figure out how to how to help them. You know, what are the roles they play? What are the, what's the structure that connects those roles? What are the processes they use to deliver their work? Um, what's holding it holding them back? You know, what are the pain points? What are the highlights? Um, and uh, and so you're kind of like working the problem from both from both directions. And I think once you understand the staff needs, you understand the student needs, then you can do some opportunity mapping and prioritization. You know. It, it can be as simple as um, importance and urgency, you know, in a two by two grid and mapping out the different needs or projects on post-it notes or on a mural board um, and then prioritizing those and um, and implementing them and checking in, checking in along the way. The student experience isn't just a buzzword. It's the heart and soul of higher education. Let's continue to collaborate innovate and prioritize student success every step of the way. If you're interested in other learning labs Educause has to offer, make sure to visit online at educause.edu.